Salutations dear viewers, this is George from Ireland. Some of you who may have seen some Bond films will recognise this as the MI6 headquarters, McVauxhall Cross in London. So what is MI6? Well, it's uh, the United Kingdom's foreign intelligence service, as in committing acts of espionage outside of the United Kingdom. What does the MI stand for? It's military intelligence. There's also MI5, which is across the river at Thames House. We're on the south bank of the river. And MI5 is the United Kingdom's internal intelligence service, counterintelligence, trying to catch foreign uh, agents and foreign intelligence officers here in the UK. Begs a question, what happened to MI1, 2, 3 and 4? Well, they all existed. So um, the MI5 and MI6 were set up shortly before the First World War. And during the First World War, there were lots of MIs up to about number nine with different areas of responsibility, as in spying on Austria, one on Germany, one on the Ottoman Empire, one on Bulgaria, one is about naval intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Despite the MI standing for military intelligence, they're just intelligence in general, secret information about political affairs, economics, and so on. So if you read The Big Breach by Richard Tomlinson, he gives an expose of what's going on in there. Perhaps not an entirely reliable source, as he certainly had some sour grapes amongst his former employers. And he was here in the mid-90s, just the time they moved to uh, this location from their previous uh, headquarters on um, Westminster Bridge Road. So that's that. They um, have subsidised cafes and restaurants in there to discourage people from going and uh, eating and drinking in the local uh, restaurants and so forth, otherwise they'd easily be spied upon and possibly recruited by foreign intelligence agencies. You can apply online to, to work for these organisations. That's it, I've never been in there. It's right beside the River Thames. Um, they seem to have little uh, balconies where they can go out. I don't know too much about them. The whole thing is a slightly shadowy, but from the mid-90s they've had some sort of parliamentary accountability. We do know a little bit about them. So that's it. That is the nerve centre of the United Kingdom's espionage operation. Officers there, mainly at, at, at desks here, recruit agents abroad, someone who's a, a, a soldier in a foreign army, who's a diplomat working for a different country, who's a business executive, who's whoever in another country has access to the sort of confidential information that the United Kingdom wishes to obtain, or indeed inside terrorist organizations. So that's the difference between an officer who is British and an agent who is not, usually, and the agent is inside whichever organization is abroad who has access to that secret information that the UK wishes to obtain. The officers are recruiting and running these agents. The officers are usually not adopting um, false identities and, and working abroad. They're usually not doing James Bond stuff. It's duller than that.